Hey everybody, I apologize for the weird angle, but I'm trying to do something a little bit silly here. Have you ever felt in your life like you've been genuinely cursed? Like someone who hates you has actually cast some kind of magical black spell on you and is just sitting back rubbing their hands together and cackling while your life falls apart? Well, that is quite how I have felt the last few months. Chances are I probably haven't been cursed. I've just had some kind of phenomenal bad luck. So I've been meaning to do like another kind of life update video and then get everything back on track, hopefully. Um, but everything that I have to say is so negative. So I thought, what is some way to make a very negative video more fun and less miserable? And so I thought what I'd do is I would sing my story to you <laughs> and make up a song as I go along. So this is my rather broken keyboard from the days of yore, from when Mr. Al and I had a band together. Some of the keys don't work, some of them are like really loud for no reason and it's just kind of a bit knackered. Also I haven't played piano for ages saving for the other day when I played this like public one in the Glasgow train station and I became aware of like how rusty I was. I thought god I, I haven't done this for so long I've just got so bad at it. Not that I was ever good at it I kind of taught myself to play piano a few years ago so this should be fun. So basically I'm going to give you a life update in the form of a song and I'm just gonna make it up as I go along and it's gonna be well like everything I do in my life I'm just gonna start and see where it ends up and it's either gonna be terrible or great. What was the last thing I said to you? I think I was on that beach at four o'clock in the morning about how my German residence permit had been made invalid after separating from my ex-husband. I found out that if I were to go back to Germany it wouldn't be in any other capacity than as a tourist and uh, which was a bit shitty and difficult as that's where I'd had my whole life. So here is my tale from that and I apologize if this is dreadful um, and if it isn't then I'm glad. <laughs> Ill-fated story starts in October. It's too loud, isn't it? Story starts in October last year when I went to Edinburgh for the first time in ten years, and I had the great idea. I thought, God, I love it here. I'd love more than anything to make this place my permanent home. And so I went to the man who gave me a job in the past. Interested in sponsoring me on a tier two work permit? I can sort it all out. Would you be keen on that? And he said, "Fuck yeah, I would. I'll do whatever it takes to get you to come and work for me again." How soon can you start? I said, "It's not that easy. We have to register the company. I, I'll get an immigration lawyer to make it a bit easier." And I went to New Zealand as well. You probably know when I found out I had to leave Germany. Oh well, divine timing. I thought I guess I was meant to be in Scotland. Things were meant to work out this way. And so I said, and so, so, so I sent my three months notice to my landlord back in Germany, telling him I'd be gone out of that apartment probably by May. Scratch me nose there. Then at the start of at the start at the start at the start at the start of March I went to New Jersey for Dark Side of the Con. It was really great, it was my first ever con. I did three panels, I had a wonderful time, I would definitely recommend it if you're in New Jersey in the future or thereabouts. And as I sat in my hotel suite, surrounded by new friends and a bag of Taco Bell, I thought to myself, I'm having such a wonderful time, something terrible is definitely going to happen immediately after this. And it did. As I sat in the JFK airport, I got an email from the man with the job in Scotland and he said I'm sorry I have to withdraw the job offer he gave no reason he said 
said that sort of the company was running low on money and I thought okay that's fine I sort of understand but at the same time I was banking on that and you kind of fucked everything up for me because of that. Oh funny detail. On the day I was supposed to have flown to New Jersey the airline I was traveling with went out of business. What are the chances of that? But it all worked out in the end and we got a new flight for me to get back with a new airline on an emergency basis. So as I sat in JFK airport trying to hold back my tears I just felt sort of hollow and thought I don't know what to do I guess I'll just have to deal with it the best I can so I got on my flight and then the airline lost my bags a couple of weeks later that particular airline had a crash and there were no survivors I think that was karma for losing my bags and on the day I got back to Germany I got divorced well what more can I say it's divorce in a court and it wasn't very much fun but that was just something that had to be done oh. I spent the next two or three weeks or however long it was painting my apartment white can you imagine how hard it is to paint white over black if you watched my apartment tour video you'll have seen how much of my flat was painted black and I did it all my whoops that's not C and I did it all myself and it really sucked and the place felt like a white hell and I sent all my furniture away to Scotland cause I'd already arranged for that to happen and I got in touch with my landlord who said they had not received my three months notice and I would have to pay another three months of rent which was great cause I couldn't afford it so I thoroughly overpaid a Polish guy to ship my stuff from Germany to Scotland and oh wait I forgot a bunch of details oh, about some other other thing that happened regarding my passport should I say that now what's on my mind probably in order to visit the UK I needed an entry clearance visa not a big deal so while I was in New Zealand I applied to get one and I because I thought it was a bit of a last minute thing I thought I probably wasn't going to even for a while but then I changed my mind so I paid for the priority service it should have taken maximum five working days they said it would probably take two to three days to get to send away my passport and get me the entry clearance visa more than a month later my passport still wasn't back and I was to leave in a couple of days what a fucking nightmare that was I kept thinking I hope they send my passport back before I'm due to fly to New Jersey but they didn't so I had to apply for an emergency new passport and it was really fucking expensive too so in the end this visa for entry clearance ended up costing me oh I don't know more than five times what it sh should have so I went back to Scotland and desperately searched for a new sponsor and I also just cried over the phone to the lawyer I said does this really have to be this hard and she said yes it does it's really hard they don't like immigrants in this country sorry she suggested I go down the startup visa route which is a new visa they've just introduced so I came up with a business idea and I wrote a business plan it took me ages but I think I did quite a good 
job. And the thing that you need to do for that is get an endorsement from a registered endorsing body. And it turns out those are all just universities. And those universities only support their own students, which I suppose makes more s makes some. Uh, where am I? Sense. But it doesn't mean there's any clear path for me to get a visa. I didn't know how to proceed. So I just kept crying. And the lawyer said she couldn't help me anymore. So I've just been looking for a new sponsor or an endorsement. It's not fun. Have you any idea how hard it is to get a visa for this? Country. So I went back to Germany to go to Wave Gothic Treffen, which was really fun. One lot more chill than every other Wave Gothic Treffen that I've ever been to. Unfortunately, I had absolutely no fucking money, so I couldn't really buy any drinks or things for myself, but that doesn't really matter. Um, the thing is to have a nice time with your friends In fact, it was a friend who'd paid for my ticket They'd given me money seeing it that I'd need it Because they're nice and I couldn't have done it without them And thanks man <sighs> I feel like a fucking charity case La 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 Then I spent the following weeks after VGT finishing off my flat, I had to remove the kitchen all by myself. It really sucked and to sell all the stuff that I didn't really need anymore. You can imagine how hard it was carrying things like the washing machine and the fridge down the stairs. And I was alone and going insane with no reassurance of what was gonna happen in my future. And to add to that, to the stress of moving countries, not knowing where I was gonna go and getting a divorce and all the other crap. My nan nana ended up in hospital, she's over 90 years old with a broken femur and I was afraid that she might die and she still might, although she recovered like a fucking boss. Had to give away one of my cats. It was the hardest thing I've ever done. Well, maybe not the hardest, but it was pretty fucking hard. And I cried and I cried and I still sometimes cry because I love that little stray pussy cat like a child. Not that I've ever had a child, so I don't really know what that feels like. But I really, really miss him and I miss all my babies. But I knew it was the best thing. Another good friend of mine took my other cat, not permanently, just to look after her, which is very kind, until I've sorted out my life, if that ever happens. And I advertised for a long-term babysitter for my birds, my two little fudgies, and a very nice lady, a nice lovely young lady from Leipzig. She took them and is taking good care of them. Uh, what happened next? And once everything was done, I could go back to Scotland from Germany on the bus to the airport my mum told me my dad was unwell and so I talked to him because I was panicking and I saw that he really was very unwell and he didn't really tell me exactly what's wrong but he's been in hospital ever since and I'm trying not to panic and just feel like shit all the time with my nana and hospital and my dad in hospital and my aunt in hospital what the fuck my application for a beautiful three bedroom flat in a village about an hour outside Edinburgh was accepted and everything was going through except I had no fucking money left so I said to my mother I don't want to ask but I've got no money and 
and I need a flirt She said, here's the money I saved for your wedding So I sent it along, absolutely everything I had To the letting agent so I could secure the flat Then they said, the money hasn't come through yet I said it's an international bank transfer, it can take a few days But in the end, they lost it So I had nothing, absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing And for some reason my bank card wouldn't work either And the bank couldn't tell me why they said we didn't It just looks fine Seriously starting to think I was cursed and I couldn't believe all the shit going wrong And it just kept going wronger and wronger and what else happened I can't even remember Oh that's right I went to see my friend for a week in Glasgow And then I got a chest infection When I finally got the keys for this flat in this little town of Paisley Which is quite a lot far away from Edinburgh then I'd hope but that's okay blah doesn't really matter it's a place to be so I wrote to the guy who'd offered to do my move for me as soon as I found a flat and I asked what's your fee and it was too high for me like it was literally more money than I had or was, could see myself having so I said oh I'm sorry I can't afford that. So I found someone else to do a tent I prepared to move house And I gave the keys to the storage to the moving guy So I called the guy at the storage place And I asked if the moving guys had turned up yet Because they would be doing the job without me He said no, they haven't arrived yet And I said I know I owe you money for storage Cause my bank card hasn't been working And I'll have to come pay my bill off in cash When I'm next in the area And he said Oh, there's a second lock on your garage Which means nobody can access it Until the unpaid bill is covered I said Oh, that's shit. Can you just unlock it while the storage, while the moving guys come along? Uh, and then I'll come in on Monday and I'll pay you in cash. And he said, I would. He said, the only guy who can unlock it is the manager. And unfortunately, he's on holiday. So I had to call the moving guys and tell them not to come, not to go, not to do the move for another few days. And then I sat on the floor of my new flat and I cried and I cried that's when I had another mental breakdown it was all getting too much for me it gets even worse cause the guy who'd offered to move my stuff is a guy called Colin I thought he was nice and He'd help the Polish guy unload the truck And I said I'll pay you for that job What do I owe you? It was 30 minutes worth that he'd done So I thought it would not be too much But then he quoted me something frankly ridiculous I said, I said to him Well Colin that's too much Nobody charges that Not even surgeons or pilots and he said I'll ruin your life Write on every single thing you've ever posted on the internet I'll send some friends around to your flat I know where you live And I'll fly poster the entire street Telling everyone how shit you are And it's small town you've moved to We'll make sure everyone knows and hates you And the cop said I should ignore him I don't have to give him anything He can fuck off Please 
sparking hot water and the washing machine didn't work and nothing I did at the cooker and nothing fucking worked and the fridge was full of the previous tenants rotting food and I keep finding more disgusting things and their old furniture was still here and nothing had been cleaned and it was fucking revolting Landlord brought me a new washing machine Unfortunately the one he replaced it with doesn't work either it was actually worse than the first one <laughs> And as I unpacked my stuff I noticed some things were broken including my very fancy fireplace that I had hand painted Remember that one from my apartment door video? smashed it had hidden it outside the building so I wouldn't notice. <laughs> so right now I don't know what to do. Everything's a fucking mess. Oh, no, no. oh yeah, and look, when I'm stressed I tend to get fit and I hate looking at myself because I've never weighed this much in my life and none of my clothes fit and I feel sick all the time and tired I've got no idea what to do next I guess I'll keep looking for sponsors or an endorsement The things as they stand, I'm here in the sweet town of Paisley I've been told it's kind of dangerous And not to go out alone on the weekends In case I get robbed or stabbed My hands are really sore now Cause I haven't played piano in such a long time It's time to say goodbye I'm sorry you've had to suffer through this ridiculous video I promise I'll try not to sing in the future Not that this really counts in singing I swear to god I can play piano better So thank you for watching It's always a joy when you can join me here If you have yet to do so Then please subscribe to my channel That would be really nice La 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 And my entry clearance runs out half through September so I'll be leaving after that where am I going I've no fucking clue I guess we'll see when I get there <laughs> and I miss Mr. Rowland I miss my cat and my birds and I hope that my dad is okay and I hope that my nana will be okay even though she's over 90 and probably won't be a parent She's perfectly happy So once again Thank you for watching Or would I say Should I say watching or should I say suffering And as I say at the end Of all of my videos Take care of yourself And be nice to each other Thanks for watching I'll see you next time See you next time I hope Bye